all. Today we're going to be making this honey apricot goat cheese log. It is absolutely perfect for parties. It can be ready in under 30 minutes or you can even make it ahead of time. You can make a smaller version and put it on a charcuterie board. Possibilities are endless. It's a total hit and kids love it too. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start by roughly chopping up our dried apricots. Nothing fancy here, you just wanna chop until they are in small pieces. Next, you wanna add half of the uh, dried apricots to a bowl with equal parts cream cheese, goat cheese, add in some spices and half of the toasted almonds. Then you're gonna wanna stir and mash until everything is well combined. It's gonna be pretty thick, so do your best. Once the cheese mixture is prepared, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head and lay out some cling wrap on a table or counter and spoon the cheese onto the cling wrap. Use the back of your spoon to spread the cheese into an even layer in the shape of a log. Once spread, you're gonna fold the cling wrap over onto itself and then fold the sides up. This will uh, help the cheese stay in place when it chills. Once you have the cling wrap folded over the cheese, you're gonna wanna gently roll and press to form your log. Go ahead and pop that in the fridge or freezer. And once it is chilled, you're gonna to wanna to gently put it into the reserved apricots and almonds and roll. I like to concentrate my almonds and apricots on the top of the cheese log. When you're ready to serve, go ahead and place down some apricot jam. Then place your cheese log over the top of the jam. And this is optional, but I like to do it. You can add some fresh basil to the top, a little bit of honey for some added sweetness. And that's it, it's ready to go. I love this appetizer for parties, holidays, especially in the summer, the flavors just feel really summery to me. I serve mine with some bagel chips, some toasted bread, celery, carrots, apples. It goes great and everyone loves it. As always, the entire recipe is linked down below on the blog. See you next time, bye-bye.